go. Oh my God, remember these? The beer video? You all probably thought that we just decided not to do these anymore. Um, all eight of you. Um, no, it's not the case. This is the new season of the beer video, which is our ex excuse, I guess, for, we'll explain it. Anyway, Helen, hi. Hi. You're back. Which went first I'm last time, I can't remember. Oh my God, I don't even know. It was a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. There's been a lot of things going on that got in the way of uh, doing a beer video. Yeah. Life, health, those things. So, mm. I assume health's better on your end? Uh, yeah, um, I'm doing fine. Matt's doing fine. Sauron just had his checkup today and his uh, pulled teeth healed, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for, you know, costing us $1,100 fucking dollars, little yeah. guy. Yeah. My dog, she's, <clears throat> my dog's 11, and um, they, we knew, like, her teeth aren't in the best of shape. And, like, last time we were there, the dentist, or the doctor was like, eh, we, you know, these they still don't look great. So I noticed, like, now today, whenever she's eating, that, like, she's drooling. And, of course, because I've been through, I'm not going to get into what happened this week, but this week's been stressful as fuck. Um hospital trips not for me um but it's just been a, a terrible week so i i'm my anxiety is just like way up here and so it's like literally she's done eating and like she has drool hanging down which that's what she doesn't do and so like i'm terrified but um i'm pretty sure it's because of her teeth but uh and she's eating and, and being uh, and being a a, a a a crotchety old lady so i, I think that's all good so but that's not why we're here. We're not here to talk about all of our unfortunate lives. We're here to drink and uh, drink mightily. Uh, I don't remember who went first last time. So, Helen, why don't you go ahead and go first? Okay. So, um, continuing with my theme, I guess, of the recent, well, I guess it's not that recent now, but um, yeah. the Republican Party in Minnesota accidentally legalizing edibles yes. <laughs> means that a lot of breweries have gotten in on making THC beverages. And so Modest has made a lot of them. Yeah. Um, they have like four kinds, or this is number five for <laughs> their varieties. They have like two, which are five, uh, five milligrams THC um, and like two which have like an absolutely brain mel melting amount like 10 milligrams of thc oh, yeah so this one is a combination of five milligrams of thc and 25 milligrams of cbd oh, um okay. i know um some people say cbd doesn't work and i will agree i guess it doesn't work in the sense that it doesn't get you high no. but i find it relaxing in limited places um yeah. I, I use a um a CBD vape and uh yeah it's very common. Um yeah. And by I, the way, I, if you smoke enough of it, you can get high. I do I haven't it. I haven't done it, but a close friend has. So oh yeah, I've uh I did that when um I used to get CBD fizzy water all the time, but that got expensive. So I was yeah. seeing if I could just like make my own CBD like beverages like tea and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And so I tried making this like CBD simple syrup with this powder I had, but I didn't really think about how concentrated it was going to be. So, so I remember like I was at home cooking and I made some dumplings and I like put them on a sheet tray and put that in the freezer. Right. Because like, yeah. that's how you freeze them. So they don't stick together. Yeah. And I needed to uh, put them in a Ziploc bag after that. And I just remember, like, I, <laughs> I was so, like, not high exactly, but so I was too relaxed. Yeah, so yeah. It took me, like, an hour to get off the couch. Yep. And then, like, I was like, well, I am definitely not walking to the grocery store. So when I went to the corner store, like, they didn't have freezer bags. I walked home and, like, cried a little bit. It's like, oh, I don't man. want to walk to the supermarket. And I was like, wait. Wait, that CBD fucked me up way more than I thought it would. Yeah. Anyway, well, it's either this that or I'm just terrifically lazy, but, you know, that's not a possibility I want to entertain. 
Um, I'm, I'm going to say it was the CBD that knocked you on your ass because they don't do that. I think they, the thing is people get confused. Like you can buy like CBD stuff like in a gas station. Like they're like they'll have those little supplements or whatever those are. I've never gotten it, anything from those. Like I, all the CBD I've had that's worked has been from a dispensary. That makes sense. Yeah. So Modest always has really good can art, and uh, this is no exception. Kind of looks like the. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's just called heavy, which I guess is how I'm gonna feel after <laughs> I down this whole can, um, or heavy orange sunshine. Yeah. Um. Yeah, even the beers I've had from Modest that I didn't like at all, I was still like, well, at least I'm drinking it out of a really nice can. So yeah. they've always got that going for them. Yeah, yeah, you got that backup. I I have something similar, a uh, similar situation whenever I get the mine. But oh yeah. Hmm. Boy, that's well, an, inter an interesting uh, facial reaction. Hmm. This tastes kind of like Tang, actually. Oh. <laughs> I um I have no objection to Tang, really. Like I haven't had it since I was a kid. So I, I don't even... I kind of remember what it tastes like, but I bet you if I tasted it today, it would taste completely different, but... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a what I can only describe as orange drink flavor hmm. with like a hint of, um, you know, kind of that like edibles, <laughs> little edibles aftertaste. Um, but, you know, this is nice. I think um, what I would do with this is probably mix it with pineapple juice in the future. Oh, yeah. And make like a lime or something and drink that on my back porch when it's not disgusting out yeah hey thanks for sending me all those fucking yeah, pictures of that free weather asshole i really <laughs> enjoy the as i'm Wait. climbing the, the hillocks of snow that are still everywhere in my neighborhood that are just gonna be here until the end of goddamn march because i live in <laughs> i live in minnesota like an idiot you're the only place in the country where winter still works. Like, uh, I mean, obviously, for people who don't know, I'm in Pittsburgh, and th th there was no winter. It was cold, and we got snow on Christmas Eve and Christmas, which is actually rare. We we generally don't get snow on Christmas. And since then, we've had maybe a handful of snow events that were like, hey, we got an inch, you know, but nothing, like nothing's happened. And, you know, I've looked at the next two weeks of weather and it's like, I think today was going to be the coldest it's going to be. And today I was just wearing a hoodie and, uh, you know, wet pants. But, um, yeah, we have no winter. It's gone. It's deceased. Everything's fine with the climate. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> well, hey, let's talk about beer. Um, so I have something that's a local brewery uh, that's, I believe this is, uh, brewed uh, in Greensburg, PA, which is not too far from where I'm sitting right now. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so excited. That was okay. so disproportionate to the information I have to tell you. But the environmental testing lab I work at has a location in Greensburg. I know oh, this. Right. That's where we send all our stuff for radium testing. What's it called? Like the oh, plant? It's, it's analytical. Should What's I that? be saying my job in this? Yeah, maybe you should. Maybe we should. Uh, we'll, we'll take this off. We'll take this offline. <laughs> well, all those people at the unnamed Greensburg place can go to Helltown Brewing, um, which, yeah, I do believe it's in Greensburg. Um, Greensburg is deep in uh, red country. Um, but anyway, uh, this is called Sanctuary Russian Imperial Style. It's 10.5% alcohol by volume. And uh, it's got this creepy guy on the on the can. Oh, that rules! Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's the backside that says sanctuary. Yeah, yeah their their cans are always pretty awesome. And it really, I, I've I I have um, most of their stuff's been really good. Um, but it says gaze into the abyss that is our Russian imperial stout brewed with a plethora of dark and caramel malts. This brew offers notes of cocoa, dried fruit, and coffee that finishes deceptively smooth. Embrace the darkness. And to embrace the darkness, we're going to drink out of a Isis uh, mosquito control uh, glass. Uh, I really wish it said Isis on it, but that's okay. Um, well, I guess 
I think it was that period of time where ISIS wasn't putting their band name on merch because of the other ISIS. Uh, yeah, I think one of uh, it's someone Matt knows has an ISIS tattoo, which they got in like 2001. So that's yeah. really unfortunate. Yeah. All right. It's real dark. Yeah, it smells like a stout. I mean, nothing. Uh, that's kind of what we're, we're dealing with here. Minimal head, uh, pretty dark beer um smell i mean again it smells like a stout so let's see if it indeed tastes like a stout oh that's nice oh uh -huh. something i love in a stout and almost demand in a stout is to have a nice liquor kick to it um oh, yeah. we, what's that oh yeah i was yeah yeah i <laughs> that little bit yeah. after that's nice. Yeah, because I, I can't drink liquor because of my anxiety. And so, uh, meaning like I can't drink hard liquor, but I still like, I like the taste of it. And I like to have like a good, powerful kick whenever you're um, actually swallowing the thing. Um, the, the It's nice and thick. It's a good, thick stout. It's another thing that I require in a stout. Um, and it's definitely, yeah, it's nice and rich. It's dark as shit. Uh, I'm going to take another sip. Oh, yeah, you know, speaking of stout textures, I think we've discussed, like, oh. uh, the horrible Iron Maiden beers. Yes. Um, I I don't know why I did this to myself, but I tried the Fear of the Dark stout. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, I have noticed this, like, it's not, it wasn't uniquely bad. Like, I've noticed this with a few kind of the crappier English stouts. Is they're super, super watery. Yeah. There's like a, a a stout style that I think is from England where it's like super low ABV and like yeah. very thin. Yeah. Which like, you know, I'm not always mm -hmm. wanting to get knocked on my ass by like a massive alcohol content. So like I've tried those before, but it's just like this just kind of tastes like dirty water. Yeah. Well, for this alcohol content, considering it's ten and a half. It's weird whenever you have a stout that is around a ten and a half, or at least I've found this, that it is kind of hit or miss whether the the um it's gonna be viscous enough. Um it always to me it always seems like it's it's getting a little higher up or like the twelves and thirteens. It tends to be where the sorry, the mouth feel is better, but this is perfect. Like seriously, it feels perfect in my mouth. You know, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, there was a brewery around here, Fair State, I think. Um, because like flavored stouts are so popular, I yeah, think yeah. they have a they have a imperial stout. Um, that's just called Nothing in It. Oh really? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I Fair State's good. Um, I generally enjoy their beers. I forget if we've done one on here, but um, they're a worker co-op, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And you know it's it's good beer. They won a bunch of awards, so yeah. they've got that going for them. Yeah, it's the thing with Helltown. By the way, Helltown's actually it's Export PA, which is close to Greensboro. I say Greensburg because it's like in that general vicinity, uh, but it's Westmoreland County. Um, but yeah, that's the thing with Helltown is like most of the stuff I've had from them are most of it's good. Um, I haven't had anything bad. I have I've had some things where I'm like, eh, not my thing, but it's not a bad beer. Um, but uh, this this might be the best one I've had is this one, the Sanctuary. It's really fucking good. Um, yeah, I wish it wasn't like a small can. I wish it was a little bigger, but um. <laughs> I well, I mean, I feel like it's understandable that it's a smaller can, right? Like, yeah. yeah, I personally would not really want to drink an entire pint of Imperial Stout. I would end up on the floor probably. But sometimes I forget your normal human size, and I am not. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Um, I think that's what helps me keep this down. Um, because I have another stout that I'm drinking later after this. That uh, Saturday night's the night to uh, just drink whatever I want, and so I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Uh, there you go. The uh, cruise into the sun. I am gonna probably. Uh, this is probably gonna get me pretty high, and I'm. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, maybe I will play some video games if Matt doesn't mind me monopolizing the TV. We were watching Bullet Train earlier. Yeah. 
and it's, it was fine. Um, Matt liked it more than I did. I, I didn't think it was bad, but mostly I just got irritated because I was just like, man, I want to like go on vacation right now and be on yeah. be on a high speed speed rail right this second. Yeah, I'm on a road. <laughs> I mean, we are going to Europe in um like. Uh, less than two months now so oh that's coming up fast wow holy shit yeah that's yeah right. uh and we were sending in our deposit for the cabin and everything our friend yeah. um is sharing one with us so we're nice. staying for a week for really cheap <sighs> and uh you know matt uh does not like to do planning and I over plan, so I get to be like the tourism coordinator. It's a good combination to have, right? I yeah, guess. I think so. he stays out of my hair and, you know, I just drag him to museums. <laughs> I felt pretty bad, actually. Um, the last time we were in Europe together was like almost 10 years ago now. And I took him to London and I like made him go to every single museum that I wanted to go to. And he got really sick because London's kind of polluted. So he's yeah, like trailing nice. behind me, like hacking up a lung. There's a picture of him in the British Museum next to this Roman sculpture of a sad dog where he's just doing this. It's it's great. I'll find it and send it to you. It's like he's in the pit, the pit of a converge show in the in the yeah. section of olds, which I'm always in, just folding, holding my arms. Like I'm bored, but I'm not. I'm always enthralled and very happy and content. I just old and I don't want to move. So oh, I, I feel you know <laughs> literally also, feel that in my bones. Yeah, ridiculous. Oh well, it's been the beer video. We're back. Um my god, have we ever been this exciting? I am just imagining the uh boners that are happening over this video because of the excitement oh, anyway Lord. yeah 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 well enjoy that snow helen um i'm going to enjoy the whatever this is all of that out there that's nothing it's just weather <laughs> I, know, I'm sorry. I don't I'm, i don't do this to you on purpose i promise yeah yeah whatever <laughs> but it, but until next week when i actually already have my beer picked up for next week Ooh. Uh, yeah i already have it um and the reason i already have it is because i forgot that i had this one um already in the refrigerator for the video and so i bought another one i was like oh okay i'll just do this one next week and the next one i i am very i'll i'll, I'll leave you on edge for next week it's um the title of the beer is very exciting to me it makes it makes me laugh, and uh, you know, doesn't it? It takes it. It takes a lot these days. <laughs> All right, everybody, fuck Ron DeSantis. I <laughs> hope, I hope he redacted. <laughs>